I'm going to share with you, I'm not going to be able to go through all 20 principles. It's the last chapter in the book. But I'm going to go through some of the core principles that I have discovered by looking at the similarities amongst all the cases that I've worked with around the world. And what are the principles? Because if we can have these as guiding principles, not as axioms or laws, as guiding principles, it will guide us in our self-checking if what we're doing is really something that is bringing us on this path of sustainability and joy. So, first and foremost, physics. We have to start looking, when you are being presented a so-called environmental solution, and that environmental solution is not based in physics, I guarantee you it's not environmental. It will have side effects. It will have collateral damage. It will have in unintended consequences. And that is very important that we remind ourselves that pressure and we forget that temperature is energy of motion. Temperature is not a static, it's about motion. Everything in physics is about movements, is about changes. And so what we have in our mind is static. We compare statistics of static data. What we're needing is statistics about movements, how things move around. And I'm going to, you saw this picture yesterday, remember? Yeah. Okay, explain to those who were not there yesterday, why does the zebra have black and white stripes? Over to you. Helium cooling, how? Differentiations of energy. Difference energies, how? The black, the black heats up and the white is cooler. The black heats up and the white's cooler, so it creates, uh, pressure. like we have pressure differences, to, which creates wind, which creates cooler temperatures. Okay. Physics is about pressure and temperature, the zebra got it, and everything gets translated to pressure and temperature. Now, I'm going to challenge those of you who were there yesterday with this picture. I'm in Namibia, and I want to know how, and I don't have access to electricity. And I want to know how do I, I'm going to be able to pump water through this pipe without a pump. Without a pump. And, and how do you do that? Well, just like you said, movement is the temperature. Yes, but how do I do that with this pipe? Well, you put the, the low pipe down where it's cooler, and then you put the, the other pipe where it's like you have And just imagine the water is the same. This is the Benguela current, and the water is all the same, 7 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, you use the, uh, so, the, when the, so the water in the pipe, you first you have to give the water in the pipe first, and then you create the pipe so that when it heats and expands, it pushes forward. And how do you do that? Color the pipe. How? Okay. Where is it black? If I want this to flow, if I want to flow this way, where do I paint black and where do I paint white? Black is downstream. Black is downstream. You paint this black, it will heat up and it will push the water out. And since it's in a vacuum, it will pull the water in. What is this useful for? What, what, why would you want to do that? Agriculture. Agriculture. Because what do you do? What do you get? This is seawater. Hey? Yes. So we're having now irrigation along the sea where we have no electricity and no drinking water. And just by understanding the laws of physics, we have now created agriculture. That means it's the end of drip irrigation. It's the end. Do you have fog in California so once in a while? Yeah. yeah, how many of you are harvesting the fog? Now this way you can harvest the fog. And we've done it in Namibia and we're farming strawberries in the desert. If you have a plant underneath a tree, you're harvesting the fog. Yeah. But here, we're harvesting the fog on the pipes. Simple, easy. How much energy do we need? Yeah, just get once the water in the pipe. That's it. 
Well, maybe a bit tough uh, at salt water, but. So one mobile pump will get you going, and then you just keep installing them. And so we're doing asparagus, asparagus, and strawberries. A couple more details. Just what does that look like in, in play? I don't have that picture on this presentation, but it's very simple. It costs about 400 square meters. That's 1,000 square feet. It will cost you $2. It's made in India. What kind of pipe? I'm so sorry they're made out of plastic. No, no, no. But let, let, the, let the perfect not get in the way of the good. Okay? So let's make certain we're on this evolutionary path. In nature, never, started, never everything started perfect. You know, everything evolved to the better. So, but the most important is get going. That's the key. So when we had to develop, develop more pipes, when we had to buy more and consume more pipes? Okay. Yes, but uh, hey, this is what we're doing. In the case of gaviotas, you remember our bottles that we're using? The bottles of gaviotas. I told you yesterday they're, they're uh, Legos. And the end of life of the Lego, what do we do? We make pipes. And which plastic do we then use? Not, P, not PET, because PET can't do it. But what's the cap of the bottle? Polyethylene. Polypropylene. So what I'm doing is now making bottles out of polypropylene. And at the end of the life of the polypropylene, because the polypropylene goes for 600 years, I need 600 years of these pipes. And they're UV resistant, because we put in the chemicals to make them UV resistant. So now the bad news of the UV resistance, which would be bad news if we burn it or we try to bury it, is good news if we decide to convert it into pipes that will pump cold seawater. Now, is your water cold or warm here in California? Cold. The chance of condensation is high or low? High, because it's determined by dew point physics. So by combining dew point pressure, temperature differentials. You can design things that work all the time. And what's, what's happening there? How many moving parts do we have? None. Nature always de keeps it simple by having no moving parts. As Soon as you have moving parts, they break down. As Soon as they break down, you need to have a warranty from the supplier to protect you against misuse. And that's why they take insurance policies. There are no exceptions to this. The beauty of this, this always works. Ah, the fog? Very simple. The pipe gets so cold, it's like you having a beer on the beach. It sweats. And so you don't even need fog, it's just the humidity from the air. And we know that every morning humidity rises. Every morning you have high humidity even when you're in a dry part of the world. It never rains in seven years and still you get humidity every morning. Because you got an ocean right in front of you. So California having no water is those who look for water where it isn't. Your water is in the air, your water is not in the rivers. You have more water suspended in the air than you have in your rivers and lakes. Yeah, but then you go further, just like nature does. The sea has been going up and down for millennia, and so you just adjust. Okay? 